Hi, my name is Heather and I'm an emetophobic. Emetophobia is a fear of sickness, a fear of vomit, seeing others vomit, vomiting yourself, doing so in public. It could be just a fear of nausea. It manifests itself in a lot of different ways. Um, I've been suffering from this disorder for well over 25 years. It has affected my life negatively in so, so many ways. It's, they're innumerable. I, I have avoided becoming pregnant. Um, I no longer travel even short distances. I, even getting up and going to work every day is a struggle for me at this point. I just, um, I'm barely functioning. And so this most recent uh, downward spiral for me, my metaphobia is kind of cyclic. Um, but most recently, this downward spiral started uh, when my husband and I attempted to go on an anniversary trip back in mid-September. Uh, I was not very far from home, a six hour drive. Um, about an hour and a half into it, I broke. I made it about three days, but um, I haven't been the same since. We came back home and uh, after several doctor's appointments and tests and appointments with specialists and uh, all of my test results coming back normal, we didn't know what else to do. So while I was up late one night again with nausea, as a lot of us often are, I stumbled across a program uh, developed by a gentleman in the UK by the name of Rob Kelly, a former hypnotherapist. and. Uh, I read the reviews, I poured over the web page and the Facebook page, and I debated over it, and I thought about it, and um, it took me a week, maybe two, to finally order the book, and uh, I did have to come from the UK. I do live in North America, so I did finally get my book. Uh, it didn't take nearly as long as I expected, but uh, the program is called Cure Your Metaphobia and Thrive. It's by Rob Kelly. Uh, it's the research-backed self-help program to overcome your fear of being sick. Uh, so I decided that I would prefer to go through the book with a consultant um, to go through the program. Um, I thought it would help me slow down and uh, because as an emetophobic and a perfectionist and um, I just, I wanted to get through the end of the book. I wanted to get to the end of the book. I wanted to get to the answer. And uh, I read through it and I did the exercises and I highlighted the important bits and I, but I didn't work hard enough. I didn't put all the effort in. I was looking for the easy fix for it, the easy part of it. And I got discouraged. And um, I will say that it's important to have a good connection with your consultant. I um, think it's really important. So do the research and maybe talk to a few and, and find one that works with you, works for you. Um, I have decided to go through the program <clears throat> a second time with a consultant again. I uh, spoke to a few other thrivers. I uh, even contacted Mr. Kelly. And um, I have chosen to work with Clara Rogers. She is out of the UK. Um, really lovely gal. Um, she is also a former emetophobic. So I think that she has uh, a unique perspective on helping her patients through the program. And uh, I'm really excited to start working with her. She is, uh, has been really accommodating with my schedule and our time difference. And um, she's just, she's very, enthusiastic about her job and about helping others get through this and, and get over it and, and start living, um, start thriving. So I am hoping that uh, you'll follow me along in this video series uh, through my progress um, in the program and that it'll help someone. Um, I have made changes. I have made progress um, since starting the book uh, the first time. Uh, for instance, my um, the nausea that I experience all the time, um, as most of us do, 
I am no longer pacing. I don't run outside when I feel nauseous, uh, which is good because it's really cold out there. It's February now and uh, it's not worth it. So I'm able to kind of lay down and, and tolerate it and cope with it. I'm no longer popping the anti-emetics every, every day, several times a day. Um, I can tolerate that feeling and and know that it's it's okay. It's not going to kill me. Um, if uh, I'm if I do wake up at night, which is not nearly as often, but when I do, I'm not automatically assuming my body is waking me up to be sick. Uh, the panic attacks were um, two or three a day uh, at the worst point, and I'm now maybe one or two a week, uh, which is really good. I am able to start pushing myself and do things outside of my comfort zone again. Um, when I do, when I am able to push myself to eat, if I do so at work um, and it's a catered event, I'm able to eat uh, the shared food. Uh, it's hard, but I'm able to do it and I am, I am starting to go to the stores again. I went out to the drugstore tonight myself, by myself. Um, and went fine, no anxiety, no panic attack. I was able to cope with it. And um, so I am making progress and I am feeling better. And I know that you will too. I really would recommend that if you're suffering and you're tired of suffering, if you're tired of living this way, that you'll go ahead and give this book a try, give this program a try. Uh, I ordered the journal that he offers to go with the book. Um, It'll just help you kind of keep your daily stuff in check. And so if you decide to go through it by yourself with a consultant, whatever you choose to do, I just hope you'll choose to do something because I really think that this program is the key. So I hope to see you guys again soon. And until then, thanks. Bye.